So this right here is a portable power station or a solar generator. Okay, and this particular model is an EcoFlow Delta II. And on this video, we're gonna talk about why I don't think you should buy this model or particularly any solar generator if you're looking for one. Um, and you should really consider building your own because you can build you know, better, higher capacity ones, maybe even more reliable ones at a much cheaper cost and you can get a lot of benefit of them, okay? So uh, let's talk about the solar generators in general. So basically these things, uh, which are pretty much a battery with an inverter on it, and some of them have capability to do AC, DC power and stuff like that. They're pretty much portable power sources. You can take them wherever you need to put them, use them and get power out of them. A lot of them or solar generators will have ways to charge the system using solar input, but uh, many of them will have both solar input and AC input. So you kind of plug it in and stuff like that and find some ways to charge it, okay? So there's no shortage of these. These seem to be really popular. Every manufacturer and all these like random brands seem to be making them. But on this video, I'm gonna tell you why you probably shouldn't buy them. Uh, but in more particular, I'm gonna to talk to you about why you shouldn't buy this particular model, okay? So uh, if you wanna know more about that, stick with us. All right, so this right here is an EcoFlow Delta II and it has a one kilowatt hour battery, pure sine wave inverter, has AC outputs, DC outputs, USB outputs. You can do all kinds of things with it. And if you've been following along with the channel, we've been using uh, this particular model to power a uh, mini split, a ductless mini split. It's a, uh, I think it's like a nine kilowatt, I can't remember, it's a nine or a 12 uh, uh, BT, BTU uh, mini split. And it's been working fairly well. Uh, recently, we've run into a problem where it just doesn't work anymore. Okay, and that is where the problem lies. So this particular model we've been using with the uh, external extra battery connected to it. And I would say for a few months, it's been working really well, especially over summer last year, it worked really well. But for some reason, randomly, it's just decided to die. Okay, so what I mean by that is, uh, it just doesn't work. It just doesn't turn on. So check this out. If I can go ahead and Hit the power button here. Let's see. Let's just hold it for a while. Watch. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Look, nothing. Nothing. You can see nothing. You can see here. Doesn't turn on. This breaker is not tripped or n none of that for fact for the matter. So to show you that it doesn't work, we're going to go ahead and take in this heat gun. All right. And we're going to try plugging in this heat gun here. Right, it doesn't work, nothing, right? It just doesn't want to work, okay? So, here's some people are gonna say, well, the battery's probably dead and that's probably a problem, all kinds of fun stuff. So let's go ahead and take this uh, mains power, which is plugged into AC mains, turn on this voltage, con non-contact voltage sensor. We'll plug this in here, right? And then we'll plug it into the EcoFlow Delta II unit to charge, okay? Before all you people go ahead and say, oh, there's some trickery going on, right? This, there's, it's, uh, it's not plugged into any power. Let's take this, right? As you can see here, it does have power, okay? Non-contact voltage sensor is telling you so. And just in case you go, go ahead and say, hey, that AC power is not plugged into anything. I'm gonna go ahead and plug this in here, right? To the heat gun. Look at that, okay? So yes, there's actually full power coming in from here, um, the mains power to the heat gun, all right? There's no trickery happening, so let's go ahead and move this aside. Since now that we know that that works properly, plug this in, um, and as you can see here, it's fully plugged in, doesn't wanna work, no charge. Look, breaker's not tripped. So, usually what you would see in this type of situation is it will start charging. But in this case, it doesn't even turn on, doesn't register in the app, Nothing, it's completely dead, all right? So, uh, what we're gonna do is reach out to EcoFull support, which we already filed tickets in uh, by this time, this video post, and you're gonna realize that we're not really gonna get any type of support, at least not anything useful, and if they do, they probably don't want to warranty it and that kind of stuff, so we're gonna have to go see when our purchase date of this thing was, and that's mainly one of the reasons I would say you do not want to purchase this unit, uh, mainly because all the ones so far, all the portable power generators I've had so far, the Blue Eddy, this one, which are probably two of the most mainstream um, branded ones, I guess you could say, all have had problems, okay? So, what's the replacement for that? I would say go and check out these other videos, 
wherever I'm going to put them, where we built our own portable power station. Um, and these may or may not be as portable as something like this because these are, you know, really portable because you can just pick up with one hand and kind of use. But the downside to something like this is that you have to, it's kind of, you know, it's proprietary inside of their ecosystem. You can't really take it apart and fix it. Technically you could, right? Because it's all just random parts, but uh, you really can't just work on it yourself, right? You really want to get it warranted and that kind of stuff. So uh, this is the one kilowatt hour battery. If you have the extra battery, that's two kilowatt hour battery. If you have the Delta two max or something like that, the other bigger battery, that's probably makes the entire system three, right? But we've built many power stations so far. And uh, the most recent one where we built with a five kilowatt hour battery, for I forget how much it was, but somewhere around like 1300 bucks or whatnot has been working flawlessly and has a lot more capability, charging capability, storage capability, and power output capability, right? So it may not be as portable, so uh, there's a downside to that, but if you need something you can just throw in your trunk, you know, willy-nilly, then obviously get something portable like this. But if you need something that can be portable, but doesn't have to be, you know, one hand carryable, then look at some of the other options, right? So I just came here to complain to you pretty much about my experience with this EcoFlow Mini because it's dead and it's kind of annoying and, you know, working with support, any kind of support regardless of the company and not just picking on EcoFlow here, it's, it's just a pain, right? You got to talk to them, you got to send emails, you got to follow up on tickets and somehow they're going to say, hey, send this thing back, then you got to go pack it up, especially if you threw away the box, you have to go find some box to pack it up, then you got to schedule UPS, FedEx or whoever to come pick it up, you know, this is all pain. You just, you just don't want to deal with that. You just need something reliable that works right that's my opinion on pretty much almost everything okay so if you're interested in picking this up just give it a thought uh, I'm not picking on only EcoFlow at this time just picking on you know general ones that make this proprietary uh, solar generator power stations and what I will say if you are gonna buy something like that buy one that has a more of a name stream or mainstream or, or, or a name to it not these random names that you've never heard of before that you can find almost anywhere on the internet. So think about that, but really consider building your own. So I'll stop jibber jabbering, get back to work, and we'll see you guys next time.